Why am I back in my room? Excuse me, I don't consent to my mind being fucked like this. Hey Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today we're playing another randomly selected game that I got from the website Itch.io where I literally closed my eyes and clicked a game in the horror category. Today we're playing Timber Lodge Inn. A boop. <laughs> oh god. Property of Firemore Police Department. The following footage depicts acts of violence, self-harm and suicide in relation to the case of the Crow Feathers Cult. Any unsupervised viewing of this footage will be severely punished. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, bloody hell, it's going to be one of these. Boop. Of course, why not? Let's watch it. Oh, okay, so it's going to be this gorgeous... Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love this kind of pixelated effect, and I love these kind of found footage type games. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go then. Ooh. Oh, it's very pretty. Look. And it's going to be very horrible, isn't it? Well, it's convenient. A convenient shop right next to an actual hotel. And there's a person. Hello. You're looking very blocky. Howard. Hello, stranger. Name's Howard. My wife and child just a abandoned me claiming I wasn't an appropriate father figure. Just kidding. Anyway, welcome to our motel. Fuck me, mate. You're coming off a bit strong. Oh, so you want to visit Firemore and stay here for the night? Wonderful. Timber Lodge Inn is the best place for visitors. Also, you're in luck because tonight we don't have any other guests. Jesus. Just pick... That noise. Just pick up whatever key you want and go to your room. By the way, don't forget that if you need anything, you can come to me at any time. Oh, oh God. Thank you. Where, where, where are the keys? Can I have a key there? Oh, it's these. Well, I'd be silly if I didn't have number 13, which they don't have. So I'm going to go with 12. Or 5. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Thanks. Bye. Can I get some snacks for the road? I would also... Oh. These are not real snacks, are they? This is a trick. You're going to kill me, aren't you? Don't you kill me, Howard. I know where you live. I think. Let's go. So I need to go to find room number five. I'm assuming it's on the top floor. I don't know. Seven. No, I was wrong. Okay, three, four. And this is my room. So far, so good. Oh, shit. It's actually really nice. Cheers, Howard. Fuck. Close the door, then. Well, this is it. Just turn that off. Turn it off. It's spooky. This isn't horrible. Oh, I can't look at the toilet, though. I want to see what the restroom facilities are like. I can kind of clip through the door, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're going to go straight to sleep, then. That's fine. <laughs> Didn't ask any room rates or anything like that. Oh. I hear noises. Not coming from the bathroom. Not coming from the TV. Can't open the curtains. Where is that noise coming from? I'm trying to sleep. Is it next door? Wait. Five, five, hang on, wait a second. All oh, the doors say five now. Wait, that bathroom door's open, isn't it? How come this one gets an unlocked bathroom? I should have stayed in this one. I don't get it. Where's the noise coming from? It's so loud. And why am I opening everyone's room instead of just knocking? Well, there was one next door, so maybe it's that one? No, it wasn't. I'm in the last room. Oh, no, no, there it is. Ha! Ah. Excuse me, can you keep it the fuck down? I'm so confused. Oh! Something new. Rewind. 
eject. What? What the ever-loving flippity floof is going on? Come on, it has to be one of these bloody doors. I'm getting a bit nervous now. What happened? It's gone quiet. I still got one more room to look at. I want to see. I need to see. Nothing. Well, that's worth it. Oh, why am I back in my room? Excuse me. I don't consent to my mind being fucked like this. Did I do something wrong? Who's knocking? The doors will say five again. Are you in my bathroom? No, you're not in my bathroom. We're not doing this again. We're not gonna go every bloody door. Can I go and talk to the convenience salesperson? No, we're not playing this game. No, we're not doing this again. Hang on. Howard, can you please tell me what the fuck's happening? Oh, of course you've gone. You said I could talk to you at any time, Howard. Dickhead. Hang on, is there any secret room? No secret room. And I can't get through there. And all the keys are... Oh, 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 oh. Spooky, spooky symbol. Very lovely. It's going to make me go through every single door, isn't it? Well, that's irritating. Okay. So, nope. And nope. Maybe it's the room upstairs that had the TV in it. That, like, had the rewind and eject thing on. Which makes total sense. Not... I'm waiting for a jump scare. Oh! This is something different. There's no bed in this one. Oh! Well, I wanted something different. I guess I've got something different. There was a thing on the... There was a thing. What was the thing in the wall? There was a thing. Oh. Totally fine. That's totally fine. I think there's one under our bed. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. Kind of waiting until it poofs me back into my room. Nope. Computer's gone. How queer. I would like to go back to our room. <laughs> I think it was this one. Can I sleep? I can't sleep. I don't know what to do now. I've done every single room. There's spookies somewhere, for some bizarre reason. Howard has fucked off. Can I go through there? I can't. Howard, stop being a dick. Can't go in the cars. Wait, did I miss a room? Oh, I missed one, my bad. Oh, of course it would be the last room. What is this? It's a shiny book. K. 
Okay. Very nice. Now, why would I close the door with me inside it? That's just stupid. So now I've gone in every room. Nothing spooky yet. They're all closed. I've done it. I've done everything. Oh! Apparently not. Why am I here now? Hello? Don't you jump scare me. I don't understand why I was behind that. This is so strange. And all the doors are closed again. Howard, are you back? Howard, you're back! Hello, Howard. Howdy, everything okay? You look weird. <laughs> Have you looked at your fucking face, mate? How did you find that book? Oh, well, I guess I have to tell you a little story. Many believe that Firemore is cursed. I know, right? Everyone wants a haunted town in their story. But not this time, son. Firemore is cursed, at least according to strangers. There are rumours of serial killers, ghosts, even aliens that are among us in this town. If you ask me, that's a bunch of crap. Made up by locals. Gotta make our town popular, am I right? And there's no bad popularity if you make your town famous. Now, the thing is that all of this is true, except for the aliens part, I think. Anyway, Firemore has some kind of energy. Many claim that it's because of the magnetic forces or whatever. You can feel it once you enter it. The wind is heavy and suddenly you start hearing things. Things that you're not supposed to hear. I couldn't stand it. I left Firemore and started a new business here. Outside of all this noise, the only way to fight it. Get religious? Just kidding. In the late 50s, there was a cult here, I believe, called the Crow Feathers or something. Many believe that they were responsible for this mess. They were worshipping a demon-like creature. It had two horns, I believe. They called it an Ankoku? Uh, the Demon of Hatred. But what do I know? Anyway, i got to work now. Go back to sleep and don't bother me again with all that. Fuck you! I just came to say hello. You're the dickhead that... Fine, fuck you. I'll, I'll take my spooky book elsewhere then. <laughs> My weird looking face. Ass hat. <laughs> there is our room. At least the numbers are normal now. My door's locked. My, I can't go to bed. You, I need my key. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is different. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. This is totally fine. I'm not getting motion sick. You're getting motion sick. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, this is going to totally make me motion sick. Oh, God. Oh, God. I want to get off this now, please. Oh, thank you. Oh. I mean, it's pretty, though, but oh. Can I trail the doors? No, I can't. I will say six. Hello. Excuse me, friend. Oh. Mole people. <laughs> Digging underground. This is not safe. There are so many open flames. And all those robes. Fwum. <laughs> that totally looks like the seal. Like, isn't supernatural. Oh, oh, oh. my ears. Well, that's the first time a game's weirded me out so much I've lost my fucking ears. Hmm. <laughs> Normality restored. Boop. Oh, that just closes the game down. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, so what? <laughs> There's a few elements to that that I liked. It was quite short, which is a shame. Um, I love the art style and the concept of the whole thing, but it was a bit 
I mean, making you go through every single door in each room was pretty much the same. There's a few little Easter eggs in there, but for the most part, there wasn't too much going on in those rooms, was there? <laughs> I don't know. I think at this point, we're quite spoiled for horror games on Itch.io. We've played so many at this point, and yeah, maybe jump scares have just become the norm, but I don't know. I was expecting something else in there, maybe. Like, you got a glimmer of that little silhouette person when you walked in the room with the pentagram on the floor, but then they just kind of vanished. I was kind of hoping they'd stay or do a bit more. But it definitely was a good game, don't get me wrong. Like, the whole teleporting new places was a little bit kind of disconnected like I'd prefer to kind of walk to the place or something like that but hey ho I am glad I played it though definitely and let's be honest it could have been a lot weirder like when I close my eyes and choose random games on itch.io you have no idea what type of randomness is on there sometimes it's just so unusual I, I yeah I'm scared to click <laughs> But anyway, Fluffies, if you wanted to play this game for yourself, I'll pop the link in the description bar below, as always. And with that said, thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies!